Little Red Riding Hood, a German fairy tale, illustrated by Colleen Madden. Once upon a time, there lived a sweet girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She got her name from the red velvet riding hood she wore. It was a gift from her adoring grandmother. One day, the girl's mother gave her a loaf of bread and a bottle of wine. She said, Take these to your grandmother. She is ill and weak, and don't stray from the path. Little Red Riding Hood set off through the woods. Along the way, she met a wolf. She didn't know he was a wicked beast, so she wasn't afraid. What are you carrying in that basket? The wolf asked. Bread and wine for my grandmother, the girl answered. Where does she live? asked the wolf. In a cottage under three big oak trees, said the girl. The wolf grinned. She is a tender young thing, he thought. She will taste better than the old grandmother. I must be crafty. The wolf walked alongside Little Red Riding Hood for a while. Then he said, Let's race to your grandmother's house and see who gets there first. I'll go this way, and you cut through the trees. What a grand idea! The girl exclaimed. She left the path and ran into the woods. The wolf reached grandmother's house first and knocked on the door. It's Little Red Riding Hood he said in a sweet voice. Come in, dear, said grandmother. The wolf opened the door and swallowed the poor old woman. He put on her spare cap, nightgown, and glasses and got into bed to wait. Little Red Riding Hood soon arrived. She called, Hello, and pulled back the bed covers. The girl thought her grandmother looked very strange. Grandmother! What big ears you have, she said. The better to hear you with, said the wolf. What big eyes you have, she exclaimed. The better to see you with. What big hands you have, the better to hug you with. Grandmother, what big teeth you have, Little Red Riding Hood cried. The better to eat you with. The wolf snarled. He jumped out of bed and swallowed the poor girl. Now the wolf felt full. He lay down on the bed and began to snore very loudly. A hunter passed by and heard the wolf's snores. He saw the wolf on the bed. He knew the wolf must have eaten the grandmother, so he grabbed a pair of shears and cut open the wolf's belly. Out jumped Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood ran outside and fetched some large stones. She and the hunter filled the wolf's belly with them. When the wolf awoke, he tried to run off, but the stones were so heavy, he fell down dead. The hunter skinned the wolf and took the pelt home with him. Grandmother ate the bread and drank the wine Little Red Riding Hood had brought and felt better. Little Red Riding Hood told herself she'd never again stray from the path in the woods.